In this tutorial, let's see how we can bend and deform the metal body of this container. So this is a simple model of a container and let's apply all the modifiers for this container. And in order for the deformation to work properly, we need a little more geometry. So let's add a little more geometry to the container. There we go, here's the geometry. Perfect. As this is a complex geometry for fracturing, let's make use of a simple proxy. So for the proxy, let's model a hollow cube in the shape of this container. So let's take a cube and let's scale it up. So it's slightly larger than the container. There we go. Now let's delete this face. Let's also delete this face. Perfect. Looks good. So this is going to be our base model for the proxy. Now under fracture module, let's head to the prepare tab and under proxy, let's add a solidify modifier and let's increase the thickness to something like 0.15. There we go. Now let's hide the container. Looks good. Accept. Perfect. Now we don't need the original cube anymore. So let's delete it. So we have the container and we have the cube proxy. Now let's select both of these and let's duplicate it. And then let's move it in the Z direction and rotate it. And let's duplicate it one more time. There we go, something like that. Perfect. Looks good. Now let's hide the actual containers and let's work with the proxies. Now let's select all of these and then apply rotation and scale. And under scatter, let's add standard scatter and let's add scatter density of 300 and click on accept and fracture. Let's select and click on select bad chunks and auto fix. And let's just select all of the chunks and then select bad chunks. Auto fix. Perfect. So now all the bad chunks are fixed. So it looks good. Apply fracture and under physics. Let's add ground and RBD. Let's work with the first one. Let's click on metal soft and add rigid bodies. Similarly, Q proxy low, metal soft, add rigid bodies. And similarly, for the third one. Cool. Now, Let's um, add constraints. So we can create individual constraint group for each of the proxies, or we can actually select all of them and create a single constraint group. Now, I just want a single constraint group to control the three containers. So that's why I selected all of them and uncheck breakable with the type as soft and source filter collections. Let's keep the iterations at 100. And between chunks, create constraint group. So this is going to create a single constraint group 
like that. So when we change these parameters, we are changing the parameters for all the containers at once. Now, if we want individual containers to behave in a different way, then we can create individual constraint groups for each of these containers and then change the parameters individually. Now for this, let's get to the limit linear distance and toggle it on and then the distance will limit it to 0.01 and then spring angle let's keep it at 150 and then spring linear let's keep it at 1500 and then click on update now let's take a look let's do a quick bake so that the simulation playback runs faster let's play the simulation The simulation looks good, except for the fact that uh, it needs to be more stable. So what we can do is under physics, we can increase the sub-steps per frame to a larger number. Let's say 50. And let's rebake. Right, let's take a look at the simulation. There we go. Now we can see that the simulation looks more stable and that the containers actually seem heavy. Now let's move ahead to the MetalSoft module. And here, let's create mesh deform. Now let's create the mesh deform for each of these target collections. And now if we use the mesh deform directly, then it's going to create the mesh deform on the proxy as we've used the proxy. So that's not what we wanted. What we wanted is to create mesh deform on the original container. So let's remove the metal mesh and let's get to the RBD lab originals. And here we only have the proxies. We don't have the original containers. So let's move the containers from the collection to the RBD Lab Originals collection. And there we go. Now we have these containers. Now here, let's click on Other Original and let's select the first container and create mesh deform. There we go. Now let's do the same thing for the second target collection as well. Check on Other Original. Now, select this container. So when we create mesh deform, the original mesh of the container is going to bind to the fractured chunks. Now let's select the third, and then other original, and let's select the third one. And there we go, perfect. Now, let's take a look at the simulation. Perfect. So this is how we can create interesting metal bending and deformation simulations using the new soft constraints and metal soft tools from the RBD lab add-on. Now let's take a look at a more direct approach to the same simulation. Previously, we have a target collection for each container. Now, what we can do is we can actually have a single target collection for all the containers combined. Now, in order to do that, we can either restart the simulation or since we already have a setup built, we can actually merge these collections. And once merged, we can add constraints. And when it comes to MetalSoft, we can actually use use multiple originals where we can set proxy meshes and set original meshes and create mesh deform all in a single step. Now, in order to merge collections, we need to remove the rest of the workflow from the target collections except fracture. So let's start with the bake. Let's delete the bake. And we didn't add any particles or collisions or anything else. So, so let's move from bake to motion, there's nothing set, metal soft. 
let's remove the metal meshes for each of the target collections. And we do not have any activators for the simulation. Let's move to constraints. Now, in constraints, we only have a single constraint group for all of the containers together. So let's remove that constraint group. And let's move to physics. And let's remove rigid bodies. And let's do the same thing for the other target collections as well. Perfect. So this is the ideal way uh, for the target collections before we merge them. Cool. Let's select U proxy low and under this drop down, select merge collections. And whatever collections we check here are going to be merged into the collection shown here, which is the Q proxy low, which was the one that is selected. Now we would like to merge the Q proxy 001 and Q proxy 002. Now, while these two are checked, click OK. Now we have a single collection. All of them merged. Now let's isolate. Here we go. In this target collection, we have the fracture chunks for all the containers combined. Perfect. Now let's add rigid bodies. As the metal soft has already been clicked, let's add rigid bodies. Cool. There we go. The rigid bodies have been added. Now let's create a constraint group as well. Now let's clear the empty source collection because the target collections have been merged. We can clear these off. Now we only have one target collection. Now with the source filter as collections and type as soft with the iterations at 100 and between chunks checked, let's create constraint group. Now here, let's toggle on the limit linear distance and change the number to 0 0.01 and then increase the spring angle stiffness to 150 and increase the spring linear stiffness to 1500 and then click on update. And these are the constraints. Let's do a quick bake for faster viewport playback. All right, let's play the simulation. There we go, simulation is working. Now let's head to the MetalSoft module. And here, let's see the magic of using multiple originals. First, let's deselect other original. Then let's check on use multiple originals because we have three different containers. Now, before we select and set the proxies and the original meshes, there's a warning here that we really need to take care of which says proxies must share the same origin as originals. When we created the proxies, we created it without matching the origin location. So what do I mean by that is, let's say we would like to take a look at this container. Let's hide the target collection. So let's take a look at the original containers and let's take a look at the cube proxies as well, right? So if we take a look at this container, this is the proxy that we created. And let's take a look at the container. So the origin for the container is over here and the origin for cube proxy is here. So in order for the use multiple originals function to work properly, these two origins must be at the same location. So let's do that. So let's move the container origin to the proxy origin. So first let's select the proxy and press Shift S, cursor to selected, and let's select the container and then go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Perfect. Now the origins for both of these are at the same location. Now let's do the same thing for this one as well. Once the proxy is selected, Shift S, cursor to selected, select the container, Object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor.
cool. So the origins for the proxies and the original meshes for these three containers have been matched. Now let's select the proxies, the first, second, and the third. And then once the use multiple originals is checked, let's click on set proxy meshes. Similarly, let's select the three containers and then click on set original meshes. Now let's click on create mesh deform. So now this is going to bind the original meshes to the fractured chunks of the respective containers. All right, let's play the simulation and take a look. There we go. So this is a more direct approach for such simulations. Now again, in the physics tab, we can increase the substeps per frame to something very high, like 15, and then uh, delete the bake and run the bake again for more stable simulation. Let's change the frame end to something like 150. All right, let's play the simulation and take a look. There we go. So that's the more direct way of setting up and running such a simulation, especially set proxy meshes and set original meshes option under the Metalsoft module. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.